my dynamic Really fun attitude Anyone in the mood Better hurry up Cause the run when I'm on the move Full speed Eyes wide and energized I can't snooze And I gotta utilize each hour of the day When there's only 24 Oh, how about we stick it out a couple more I get so warm When I can't stand still I feel my schedule There's no chill Stopping, reading, playing sports Going on adventures of all sorts Let's meet on a rendezvous But you better hurry up I've got to move I don't wanna be caged Like I live in the zoo There's too many things I love to do Go! So many things I love to do Hey everybody, it's Devin Gardner again. And we've started a new series called Devin Does It. And what is Devin Does It? I know you're probably wondering. Well, I'm gonna take on a lot of different sports and activities trying to figure out how great I can become. And today, we're gonna find out if I can do curling. I'm here at the Detroit Curling Club that has existed since 1885. Let's go. I want to know the history. I want to know where did curling start? How did it get started? Tell me the answers, Mike. Okay. So, yeah, so it's actually quite interesting. Uh, curling started in Scotland on the frozen locks or lakes there. And apparently the Scots didn't have anything else to do during the winter, so they decided to throw stones <laughs> down the ice. And, and that's how curling got started. Really? It was brought over to uh, North America by Scottish immigrants. What's really interesting here is uh, in, the, in the U.S. is that the oldest recorded curling in the U.S. was actually here in the Detroit area on Orchard Lake in, 19, uh, in 1832. Wow. So, uh, what were you doing around right, that time, 1832? Right. I, I, you know, I think I was, I don't know. I don't right. know what I was doing. And, and the Detroit Curling Club has actually been around since 1885, which a lot of people don't know. Uh, they, they are surprised to find out that Detroit has uh, curling and that it goes back that far. So, what are the rules? So what you have to do is you have to throw a stone uh, about 150 feet down the ice. Wait, what? Yes. 150 feet? Yes, it's 150 feet. How many football fields? Is that a football field? No, not quite. Not quite, no. But uh, you slide it down the, the, the ice, and the way that you score is uh, there are rings, or what we call the house, down at each end. And you get a point for every stone that you have closer than your opponent's closest stone. Mm. So it scores sort of like bocce. People uh, compare it to that. So only one team scores per end. You play eight ends. After eight ends, whoever has the highest score wins. So this goes against everything I've always learned in my life. I was always told you do not throw stones in the house. <laughs> but now with curling, you want to get the stone in the house as quickly and as deeply as you can. Yes, we are uh, true supporters of throwing stones at houses. <laughs> the one advantage I think I will have is my superior <laughs> balance. I'm a big guy, but that won't help me. I'm pretty strong, right. that won't help right. me. No. But balance. Balance will help you. Balance, balance is probably you. one of the keys in curling. I think we're ready to go. Okay. I think we're ready to show everybody how great I can become as a curler, how great of a coach you are, because everything that I am will be because of you, Mike. Right. Can't wait. And if you're good, I have a spot for you on my team. Hey, after you. Oh, it's a little cold in here, isn't it? So, Mike, I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, I'm a world-class ice skater. Really? Oh, my goodness. And nobody know knows it. You're like me and you. The okay. people that know it and some of my family do. Um, Well-kept secret. Of course. But when I step on this ice, it seems just a little different. A little different than ice ice skating ice. Yeah. What's the difference? And, and that's because it is. So, ice skating ice is actually kept at a higher temperature so that you can uh, dig the skates in. We want our ice to be cool, uh, colder so that it is as uh, slippery as possible. Also what we do is we put a pebble, which uh, we take a backpack full of, of water uh, with a sprinkling head pointed up, and we uh, spray that on, and as the droplets hit, they actually freeze. Mm, what that's that why does, it looks like beads. Yeah, it looks like beads, oh, we nice. call it the pebble. Okay. And what that does is it reduces the surface area uh -huh. that the rock has to travel on. Now this is the rock here. I could show you this. And what's interesting about this is it is um, 44 pounds of granite. So it is very heavy. And we ask that you don't lift them. And you can see that the rock is only traveling on this short band. Ah, which is a little space in here. Yeah. Like, a, like a bottom of a mug almost. Yeah, exactly. And so this also reduces the surface area uh, that is hitting the ice, which makes the rock slide. Now you have a broom. 
slippery. Uh, it's slippery. Yeah. It looks like a Swiffer. You're using the broom to, to take the rock uh, further down the ice by, by momentarily warming it and making sure that there's no particles that get under it uh, that could affect its, its speed. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very good. Very good. So then what we have is we have what we call the hack. Okay. The hack is the starting block. And if you're right-handed, you always start with your right uh, foot in the left hack, always. And then we have what's called the slider. And the slider is a piece of Teflon, again, very slippery. Very slippery. Very slippery, right? And so what you do is you step in, and then you always step onto your oh, your slider. Oh, and you can, oh Mike, yeah. Mike, be careful. Yeah. I need you. Yeah. How would I learn yeah. curling if you go down? Exactly. Okay. Right. So that's the first step. Then what you want to do is you want to crouch down and grab the stone. And I'm using a broom. Mm -hmm. Now, what we're going to show you is how to use a, a stabilizer. Mm -hmm. That's a more modern technology. But you're just such a professional. You could just use the broom. <laughs> you right. actually could probably get out front, sweep it while you're also doing this. I've done that before. Of yes. course you have. Yes. So what you do is you pick up your hips, and then you push off. So graceful. Don't you agree? And you slide. My goodness. And it's really just that simple. <laughs> Bravo. Thank you. Bravo. <laughs> Now let's show you how to do it. So go ahead and step into the, the hack with your uh, step like that. Yes. And then step onto the slider. Okay. And whoa, 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 <laughs> it is whoa, slippery. Whoa, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Okay. And then crouch down and grab both stones. And what you want to do is you want to get your slider foot and your the two rocks all sort of going in motion together, right? Yes. Oh. And then what you're going to do is you're These going to pick up. Heavy. Yes, they're 44 How much pounds. How these weigh? 44 pounds. Uh, you're going to pick up your your hips and you're going to push off from there. Yes. So let's let's try that again. So, Restart. <sighs> yep. Oh. oh. Always step off, <laughs> off the slider. Yeah, danger, danger. Yeah, danger. Um, okay, so you crouch, <sighs> grab the stones, get the stones in your foot kind of all moving together, pick up your hips, and push. Good. <laughs> You're a natural. That's great. Okay, very good. Who's <laughs> bad? Oh, don't lift the stones. Oh, please don't, don't lift, the lift the stones. Please, please don't do that. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's one of the, the rules. It is um, 44 pounds of granite, so it is very heavy, and we ask that you don't lift them. Oh, yeah, rules. But that's really don't funny. Don't lift the stones. Yes, don't lift the stones. Okay, so same thing. So crouch down, get all three guys moving together, lift up your hips, and push. Good. That's great. So now we're gonna get rid of one of the stones and we're gonna replace it with a stabilizer. Get all three guys moving together at the same time. Lift up your hips. Uh-oh, stuck. Okay. That's okay. That's why, you, that's why you're doing that so that it doesn't stick. And slide out. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> he's, he's a natural. You said I'm a what? You're a natural. Of course I am, yes, I agree. I agree. And since you are a savant, I believe you. Okay, good. Natural. Okay. So because you're doing so well, we're just gonna move on to releasing the stone. Get everybody moving. Up. And then release. Okay, good. Uh, that's not quite enough. Lift up your hips, push, and whoa! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a little speedy. That's, that's considered a takeout. Okay, so third time's a charm. There you go. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. A little heavy, but not a bad shot. Okay, and you're in the race. There you go, you split them in. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to, to sweep a stone. So what I'm gonna do 
is I'm gonna push this stone. Somebody drop the puck. <laughs> drop the puck. Yeah, I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop the puck. Exactly. And what you want to do is you just want to put pressure down and sweep as hard as you can, or okay. swifter as hard as you can. One in front and one behind, so that you don't hit hit each other. You don't want to yes, do that. So I'll go okay? front. And go behind. So Ready? here we go. So get a get in there. Come on, sweep harder. Come on, come on. It's there. You go. All the way, harder than that. It's not gonna bite you. Get it, it's not gonna get there by itself. Come on, let's go. Okay, good. Okay, so that's sweeping. <laughs> so now we're gonna put it all together. I, I think we should do sleeping. <laughs> let's just try sleeping just for a little bit. I had no idea how much energy it takes to curl, but now I'm ready to compete and give it everything I've got. World-class curler coming at you. They have no chance against us. For the best there is. Okay, sweep, ladies. Sweep. Come on, you got it. There we go, team. There we go, team. There we go, team. Nice shot. Ah. Oh, I got theirs out. It's good. All the way. Ah, nice shot. Whoa! Ah. Whoops. Nice job, Nat. How are they able to? They just, he's just like it's like a, he has like a, a vibration uh, apparatus attached to his shoulders, and it's nice shot. And we're off. Oh, a little early, a little early. It's like guys, sweet, you're sweet, gonna sweet, have sweet to sweep it. Come on, hard guys, hurry. All right, good shot. Yeah, it's still going. Good sweep. It's still going. It's still never, a little bit left. Never, never give up. Good, very good. Here okay, go. guys, come Here on. Here we go. Let's sweep. Here we go. Now. Get in there. Come on. Sweep hard. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. The series is called Devin Does It. Did I do it? Yes. Did I do it well? That's up to your interpretation, but I know a few things for sure. One, curling is an outstanding thing and it's pretty tiring. I am gassed. Two, Natalie's definitely icing her leg. Ouch. Stay tuned to see what we're gonna do next on Devin Does It. Good curling. Good curling. Good curling.